G'day guys, so today we've got a very special interview. We're going to be interviewing Morgan Fogarty. He's an up-and-coming motocross and supercross star. So let's go see what he's up to. G'day Morgan. Hey Cam, how you doing mate? Good, long time no see. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, do you want to go have a chat so we can find out a little bit more about you? Yeah, bloody oath. No Easy. Dramas. So Morgan, you've been racing for 10 years. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, look, I started racing, yeah, when I was uh, 10 years old. We, um, we actually started racing after the, the bushfires that we had here in uh, 2009, I think it was. Yep. Um, and then, yeah, mum and dad, they just, they always wanted to give us everything. And then after that, they just said, yeah, well, we'll go and race. So Morgan, you were just talking about the bushfires, how they went through your property. Do you want to tell us a little bit more about them and how it happened, basically? 2009, they, um, yeah, the bushfires come through and it was, yeah, it come right up to our back door. Um, we were lucky that we actually stayed. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I don't think we would have we would have kept the house. You could see the smoke from from a mile away. Me, my brother, and uh, our two dogs were in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, my mum and dad actually fought it. So uh, yeah, we we're really lucky to make it out alive, really, and 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 keep you know pretty much everything on our property. Obviously, we lost a lot of fences and stuff like that, but it's all replaceable. But um, yeah, we we're super lucky. So Morgan, you progressed pretty quickly throughout your career. Do you want to tell us a little bit about how you got onto the Kawasaki team? Yeah, for sure. I mean, um, a guy from uh, Shepparton and Kawasaki approached me and just asked what, I, what my plans and stuff were for the up and coming year. And yeah, I progressed pretty quick and ended up moving up through and ended up getting sponsored by KDM a couple of years later. Started off on Raceline. I ended up winning around at Conondale uh, with those guys. I didn't actually have the best of years, but then yeah, I got picked up by Davey two years back, and then um, last year I was leading the Under 19 Championship, and I got asked to go to race the MXGP in Indonesia. Um, so I went over there, and uh, I didn't do too bad in qualifying. And then I done a, uh, a in the qualifying race, I done my knee, which was pretty unfortunate for me. And then I ended up coming back home, and then I tried to ride a couple of times, but it was just it was too far gone. So I had to get some surgery on it. From there on, it was just recovering and trying to get back to uh, back on my feet and back up to speed. I didn't actually know exactly what I was going to do for the next year. I didn't know if uh, KDM were going to still, you know, help me out. I ended up getting a call from Carl from New Zealand uh, that owns the CML race team there. And I ended up going over there and, and done the New Zealand titles at the start of this year. Come away with the Under 19 Championship there. I had a ball over there, it was actually an awesome time and definitely would love to go back there. So when we were rolling in, Morgan, I saw you training on your Supercross track. So what class are you in at the moment? Yeah, so I'm going to uh, race the MX2 class at the Australian Supercross Series. So uh, yeah, just been yeah working working my butt off trying to uh, get up to speed. And it's my second season. I done uh, two years ago. I done it uh, for Raceline KDM. Uh, I ended up getting tenth in the series, which I sort of surprised myself a little bit. I just sort of managed to make my way through. And this year I'm going to have another go. And and yeah, I've been working hard at it with uh, a fellow mate of mine, Dylan Long. So we've been training pretty hard, trying to get uh, get our speed right. And do you feel like you've trained to where you need to set that mark to, you know, compete against the others? Yeah, I definitely still need a lot of work. I, I, I'm still, you know, trying to just get that little bit of ground speed and stuff like that, and just find a bit of a flow. You know what I mean? It, it's it's definitely um, it's definitely one of the most intense sort of racing you can do. So. Uh, yeah, I feel like I'm getting better each day I ride, so yeah, just been going hard. Yeah, and do you feel like it's a different riding style moving from motocross to supercross because you know it's much more technical? And Yeah, for sure, it's definitely a lot more technical. I mean, um, yeah, you've got to be really precise with everything that you do, you know, all your landings and stuff like that, and, and especially through the whoops and stuff, you, you definitely don't want to miss a whoop, so. So Morgan, I've been told by a lot of people, I've heard a lot of stories that, you know, motocross and supercross, you get paid a lot, you know, it's the all the fun times. Um, do you have a sideline job at all? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's it's funny how, you know, the public, they see it as, as just, it's all fun and games. I mean, we get paid a lot of money and stuff like that, but really we don't. Like, I actually work, I operate a digger for a plumber, digging all their trenches and stuff. My boss is pretty good down at Ozbuilt Plumbing, so I, I just ask him, I say, oh, do I have a couple of days here and there? And he'll always give me the work, so it, it's pretty handy. But um, yeah, I definitely try and ride at least, you know, two to three times a week. Definitely the rest I'm working, trying to make some money to, to keep on doing it. So because you've got a full-time job, does that make it harder to progress your season? Yeah, I mean, definitely. Like, it, it's super hard trying to, you know, come home from work when you, you know, you're pretty tired and knackered. And you, all you want to do is just lay down. But then you, you know, you got to pick yourself up and go to the gym and 
and do all the cardio work that, yeah, that's got to be done, you know, to keep up with these fast guys. It's, it's definitely a hard gig, but, you know, I, I don't mind doing it and, and um, I'm just going to work hard until I can, you know, do it as a full-time job, racing motocross.